I don't think I'll ever feel completely safe until I have my own um, bubble boy suit. Yes, I need to speak to Dr. Shaw, like, right away. Um, yes, it's an emergency. <laughs> Hi, Dr. Shaw. So, I have a few questions. So, I know I should stay away from Corona beer. Should I just stay away from, like, all beer? What if I went into Panda Express three weeks ago? Yeah. And I had their orange chicken. Um, there's two of us that live in my house. This this is not enough toilet paper. So I was at Target today and an Asian woman literally sneezed 50 feet away from me. So I'm thinking I should self quarantine. People are going crazy over this toilet paper business. I mean, your computer gets viruses. So doesn't it make sense that the coronavirus can go through my screen? Are you sure? Because we do a lot of business with China. I don't know why, but I just bought an entire case of barbecue sauce and 20 boxes of couscous. I don't even know what couscous is. I don't even think I like couscous. So I had sushi yesterday. Um, should I like admit myself to the hospital? And I also bought 52 cans of pinto beans. So yeah, our house is gonna be super fun when we quarantine. I got some frozen yakisoba noodles from Costco the other day. Should I throw those away? We're gonna have to really ration this toilet paper out. One square per bathroom use, three bathroom uses a day. Okay, if you go more than that, that's gonna be your best friend, okay? I don't care if you have to go number two. You should have thought before you ate that whole bowl of chili. I'm kind of worried because this hand sanitizer only kills 99.99% of germs. Where do I find hand sanitizer that kills the other 0.01%? One square per use is pretty liberal, I know. At this rate, we will probably have enough toilet paper for another 78 years. I'm hoping that the coronavirus will end by then. Now, I've also been drinking hand sanitizer. Um, that's not a good idea. All the stores in my area are out of those face masks. So I found something that's just as good, I think. So these are gonna give you much more protection. In fact, these, this is a Wonder Bra, so it's like 100 times thicker. Look like a mask, and then I wrap this around. This is double protection right here, because you have two cups. There you go. Isn't this amazing? I gave one to my husband the other day, and he's using that at work. My kids also have one for school. Is there like a hand sanitizer that I can swallow? to um, make it more effective for my body's defenses. What do you mean there's no oral hand sanitizer? When these are in the laundry, I found another form of protection that works just as well. They are not out of these in the stores. The nice thing, it's got adhesive on it. Just stick it right onto your face. Corona is not gonna get through this. It even looks kinda cool. Look how amazing this works. <laughs> Life hack. You think that's enough toilet paper to share with you? An entire roll of toilet paper? Are you kidding me? That's like asking me for a lung. Should I get rid of the soy sauce in my house? What about the ramen noodles? No, it's the Marichon kind. Oh, I know it's not raining outside, but protection. Anyone comes near me, anyone, right there. The best defense against the coronavirus is to panic. I need to get like five more umbrellas so that like I can put them all around me. What if I go into China? What, I'm not going to China, but what if I go into China? I am just getting ready for the apocalypse to happen. I bought all the face masks at the store. I'm even putting masks on the dogs. God damn it, I have an itch on my nose. And I also bought 90 cases of water. And you could say, well, why don't you just drink your tap water? Well, What if I had some chow mein yesterday? Should I self-quarantine? Uh, say goodbye to Sinju Sushi. Yeah, I'm not going to the Golden Dragon. No rice, no noodles, no bok choy, no beef and broccoli. What about putting hand sanitizer in your eyes? What about your nose? That's not good for you. Are you sure? Um, we're down to doing half a sheet per use now, just to be safe. What I want to know is why are the supermarkets still selling Corona beer? You think I'm wasting your time? <laughs> what are you doing? So what if you have people in the intensive care? I've gotten so good at holding my breath all the time. Like, I've only passed out four times today. So. All I wanna know is how long do I have until I die? When it's a pandemic like this, you need that toilet paper. So I ordered some on Amazon too. 
It was more expensive. It was about $70 a roll. But you know what? It's worth it because I'm protecting myself from this coronavirus. Um, how can you call this overreacting when people's eyeballs are literally bleeding out of their skulls? That's Ebola? Yeah, I've pretty much um, stopped going anywhere. I'm just assuming that it's a cesspool of corona. Um, no, I don't have a square to spare. <laughs> this is not enough. But if you want to buy a couple of squares of toilet paper, yeah, so I just ordered my hazmat suit from Amazon. Should I wear goggles out? You know, you would think that they would sell the Bubble Boy suit. Why don't they have that suit anywhere? I'm sure they have it on Amazon, right? What about hand dryness? Is that associated with coronavirus? Because my hands are f***ing dry. Uh, don't you have your own toilet paper? Like, are you really my friend? I feel, because I feel like you're using me for my toilet paper now. I think I'm ready to go outside now. Um, are you sure? I don't know. I read something else on the internet. Um, from a vital source. It was an anti-vaxxer blog. I know it's 98 degrees outside. All of the stores have actually like blacklisted me.